let me bring you the Mediterranean into your dining room with this fantastic packery with sea bream. I've got the perfect recipe for all of you guys that like me as overindulge over the Christmas holiday and we want to still eat well, but maybe a little bit lighter. So I've got this amazing fish that was swimming happily off the Isle of Wight up until yesterday and it was line caught and it's super fresh. You can see it's super fresh from the eye. You can see the redness around the gills that shows that you know it's fresh. The blood was flowing up until recently and they look absolutely amazing. We're going to make a really delicate pasta dish with it that is just going to amplify the flavor of the fish and it's going to have the pasta, it's going to have tomatoes and and we're also going to try to kick up the recipe a little bit but it's optional so you can do it or not but let's get cracking so the first thing that we do is that we make the fish broth for the fish broth you start off with our sandro sofrito which is onion one large carrot and one stalk of celery to the sofrito we're going to add some good extra virgin olive oil and this is going to stay here for about five minutes until the onion becomes translucent now that the sofrito is going, let's talk about what we're going to do today. I've cleaned two sea breams, lovely, and I filleted them and then I cut them into little chunks like this. And we're going to use all these leftovers, so the head, the skin, all the bones to make our broth. And that's going to be the thing that takes the longest. So we're going to start off with that because we're going to keep it there for about 45 minutes. While we do that, we'll prepare all the other ingredients. Tomatoes, and I've got a selection of three different types. We're trying to get as sweet as tomatoes as we can and we just cut them in four, nothing too fancy with it. And now it's the time to mix uh, business with pleasure. So let's open a dry white wine. I'm having the Bianco della Palomba. And this is gonna have two functions. One of it for me to drink. The second one for us to cook with. The sofrito has been there about five minutes. We take about half a glass and we just pour it here. I will mix this up until you don't smell the alcohol anymore. This gives it a little bit of acidity. It's fantastic for the sofrito and for the stock. And this one is for me. Now we're going to add all the head, all the skin, all the bones right in here. Start preparing our stock. Doesn't look very pretty, but it's going to taste amazing. And here we're going to add cold water. It's important we use cold water because we want to create a temperature shock to the fish. The fish is going to go, oh my God, what the hell is going on? And it's going to release all its fantastic flavor. Just over the fish, medium high, we close it and we bring it to the boil. Now that it's boiling, we lower it and we continue with a gentle simmer for a good 30 to 45 minutes. Let's start preparing the tomatoes. So we're going to start by infusing the olive oil as usual. So we take some garlic, we just squash it. We keep it with the skin, we call it incamisha with the shirt on. Some good amount of extra virgin olive oil. Then we got some fresh parsley. We break the stems off, throw them in, and they're gonna help infuse the olive oil. Into the fire, and we're gonna get the olive oil to start infusing with all these great flavors. This means we got time to drain the broth. Doesn't need to be on the fire. This has done its bit. It's been on for 45 minutes. We strain it from all the solids. The smell is amazing. This we can throw away. This broth over here is gonna be the great friend of our pasta dish. We're gonna add some white wine. Half a glass is plenty. We're gonna add one chili where I took all the seeds away. We need to make sure that the smell of alcohol goes away before we put the tomatoes in. Tomatoes go in. We're gonna keep a high heat. So we're gonna add one spoonful of our stock here and let this continue to cook at a high heat. And then we're gonna add two spoons of the stock into the water that we're gonna use to cook the pasta. And the reason we're doing this is because we wanna make sure that the pasta starts to impregnate with the stock. And the rest, we leave it here and we're gonna use it for the mantecatura a little bit later. As usual, we salt the water. We all know how that goes. Salt the cherry tomatoes. And we're gonna be using pasta armando again because I absolutely love it. It's great to cook, it remains hard and it's very, very healthy for you. It's Italian, it's fantastic. And what we wanna do is that we wanna be able to concentrate the amount of starch you can get from the pasta. So we try to put as little water as possible. It needs to cover the packery. So in this case, we need to add a little bit more of the boiling water. Lid goes back on and this is gonna start boiling up again. The cooking time for this pasta is 15 minutes. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna cook it here for about 10 minutes. And then the remaining, we're gonna cook it with the juices of the tomato. Now it's time to move our garlic. 
our parsley and our chili they've done what they had to do so we can add some fresh parsley and this is when we start dirtying another pot we're gonna add some of this to the new pot a little bit of our stock and we add our sea bream the sea bream especially cuts so thinly it doesn't really take much to cook at all and you don't want to overdo it otherwise it just folds apart so we're gonna cook it only for a few minutes here in the juices now this step you don't necessarily need to do it because we're gonna finish cooking the packery in the big pan and we're gonna let it jump and amalgamate with all the starchy water and the broth here and this fish is very very delicate so while that happens you risk kind of breaking up this fish and i quite like when you can actually taste the little pieces of meat without being broken down so by cooking it separately and we're going to add it at the end we make sure that the fish is cooked and it's not going to be broken away when we finish cooking the pakari in this pot now the pakari have had nine minutes here so we're going to take it out add some of our broth and the pakari really is the best pasta to make these dishes with because you see how big they are they're going to be able to hug the sauce that we're going to make when you put the pasta in medium to high heat you want a good flame underneath and this will take another five six minutes to finish cooking here always keep an eye of the fish on this other pan and we'll salt this at the end you don't want to put the salt now otherwise all the liquid is going to come out it's going to feel a little bit more dry than you want it to be and the other thing about cooking in a separate pan is that you have better control of the cooking time because here it might take a little bit longer two or three minutes longer than you were originally anticipating it and if you had the fish here you would be overcooking the fish having it in a separate pan when it's cooked you turn it off a couple more minutes to go and that's where we're going to add the rest of the parsley i think adding the parsley towards the end is a lot nicer because it gives that kind of freshness and you can see that it started making this beautiful creaminess see over here this is a great creaminess this one here we've switched it off we literally cooked it for four or five minutes we turned it a little bit and you see how delicate it is when it kind of breaks away that's why i like to cook it separately and this is us done pasta has got this great creaminess we're gonna add the fish now the smell is absolutely phenomenal and it's time to plate it up and guys if you like this video and i hope you did please put a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel we are going to be posting every sunday a good easy quick recipe that you guys can all do at home and taste a little bit of italy in your kitchens let's add a little bit of parsley the smell of this is absolutely amazing check this out i'm really excited to taste this so let's take a little bit of fish one of the packery some of the sauce make sure i don't burn myself Mmm, mmm, absolutely delicious. The fish is cooked to perfection. We didn't take very long time. It's still, it's got firmness, it's got flavor. Mwah. Absolutely amazing. So if you have some fresh fish, you can do this with sea bass, sea bream. It's amazing. So go ahead and do it and buon appetito.